Well, hello everybody. We're going to be doing a repaint today on an Ozark Trails Rattle Trap clone. And we're going to do this in what I call the Yukon Crawl. Um, this has nothing to do with Alaska. It has everything to do with Yukon, Oklahoma. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start out with this. And we're going to get some mixing cups out here because we're going to have to make a little little lighter shade of green and I'll shake this up just a little bit before we do it put a little bit of this in here and that is fluorescent green in createx and we're going to take some opaque white Couple drops in there. Mix this up and see what we got. We just want a real light shade, kind of a mint green color. That's what we're looking for here. About that color there. Not for sure. If my lighting is the best yet, but I promise you, as we go along with these videos, it will get better. That is the color that I am looking for, that is for sure. We have gun loaded up here. take a whole lot of it and you're gonna notice it's gonna come out of here pretty slow actually I'm gonna help it along here a bit I don't want to sound chintzy with paint but No reason in wasting a bunch either. That's what we want. All right, we're gonna lay this down on the belly. A little bit on the throat. And then just slightly down the sides of it. underneath the eyeball and up the throat so, not exactly sure if you can see that or not but didn't put any across the back coated the throat coated the belly right, I'm gonna heat set this real quick and I'll be right back with you Alright, now we're going to take a little bit of Createx Fluorescent Yellow. Get it shook up here. Load it up with that. Now we're going to shoot just below that lateral line. Up into the top.
then we're going to go back in and heat set again while the air compressor goes off. Okay, the air compressor is off. Now we're going to shoot the top side of this. It's going to be a little darker. We're going to use a wicked red. And this is going to kind of be a mix up here of, of colors. So we're going to shoot a wicked red. We're going to add a little bit of or wicked orange to it. Uh, just added wicked orange. You could use a pearl here if you wanted to. Just a few four or five drops of that in. And then some wicked pearl copper or createx. Pearlized copper. About that. So that's kind of what you're looking at. Mix that up. We may have to darken this up with a little burn umber. I'm thinking we will. Still way, way redder than I want it to be. So, look at that. I'll get a little burnt umber here. There it is. Darken this up a bit. Looking for that really nice crawdad, crawfish. Here in Oklahoma, they're crawdads. Whatever you want to call it. I like that, but we're going to add just a little bit more. Three, four more drops there. And darken it up. There. Still going to come out fairly red, but you can see there it's kind of a brick red at this point. Put a little bit of thinner in here. We do have the pearls in there. See what we can come up with. Gun from the last shoot. Still loaded with yellow. It's not going to matter a whole lot. Whether we're fixing the shoot, it's going to overtake it. And we'll put it off. All right, see what we got here. I have, a, I have a dark, deep red. I'm going to start out going down the spine, down the back of this bait. And we're going to keep shooting downwards. Almost down to that lateral line. So this is what we come out with. Something about like that. I am gonna put a little little under its chin. Not much. Just a hair. I'll go ahead and shoot it down a little more. Just to make sure we're past that lateral line. And that was all shot at an angle. 
but you can still see these gill plates. They're pretty and bright. Alright. We'll put a quick heat set on that and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so we got a heat set on that. Now we're going to go down the spine once again. But we're going to go down it this time with Detail Sophia. Sophia. However you want to pronounce it. Shook up good. Darken that back up just a little bit. Yeah. Well, here we go. So we're going to go right down the spine. And once again, we're going to keep this brush at an angle. I'm just going to kind of let that run down through there. Like that. Put a quick heat set on this. I'm going to hit the sides one more time. So bear with me. All right, now we're going to hit the sides a little bit harder. There we go. Oh, that's what we were looking for. So now, like I said, sorry about the lighting here. I'm trying to give you the best view I can give you. I will have this fixed in future videos, I promise. Because what good is it if you can't see it? At the end of this video, I'll get you some good snapshots of it and get them posted. I am going to go down the back one more time. Just like that. Alright, now we're ready to lay in some cross stripes just as soon as I heat set this all right now we're ready to put some stripes on so first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our helping hands and get our bait set up here the whole deal feels like it needs to be tightened up a bit there we go We're going to use Pearl Silver Createx. You could use the Wicked Silver. Um, I think the Pearl Silver is a little lighter color. We are going to, I am going to thin out the Pearl though, just a hair so makes it a little easier. A little easier to shoot through the gun. Pearls need to be mixed really, really 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 well we are going to be using a stencil for this comes from russ allen that insane custom stencils another oklahoma boy from down around ada oklahoma proud of the proud of the stuff he's putting out doing a good job makes stencils for just about everything Alright, this is one of his stencils here that I, it, I have kind of cut on it a little bit, but when you get them, I'll show you here in a minute, you can get them in a wheel or they come in a sheet, and then you can kind of cut them down however you want them. And we're just going to shoot that on, and we're just going to go with that. I am going to heat set this real quick before I do the other side.
sure that you can see that right now. We'll go ahead and do the other side real quick. Dry off my stencil. The pearlized paints. Do not like to dry real fast. I'll take a look at this. I'm going to see where I ended up with that. I'm going to lay this one in about the same place. Once again, big shout out to Russ Allen at Insane Custom Stencils. Man does a good job making stencils of all types. He's got crawl wheels. This is crawl wheel one. Stripe wheels. You name it. If there's a blank or a bait out there for it, he's got them. I promise you. And if he doesn't, he's coming up with it. I know he's been working hard over this holiday season to come up with some new stuff. And I've already seen some of it. We're running a big sale. I think we may have just missed it. I think it ended Christmas Day. But I'll check into that before I post this video. This is New Year's Eve. We're in here posting or painting. And we'll be posting tomorrow, so let me heat set this real quick. All right, so this is what we ended up with without all the fluorescent lighting that I used to paint with. Like I said, this is an Ozark Trails uh, rattle trap, more or less. And this is done in a Yukon Craw pattern. Not Yukon, Alaska, but Yukon, Oklahoma. Um, I've caught many, many a fish and so have other people on this pattern here in Oklahoma. Not just in the central part where I'm from, but all over the place. Well, everybody, I'm glad I had the opportunity to bring you this video today from Lake Rack Tackle in Yukon, Oklahoma. Um, 2020 is gonna be a, a big year for us. I ask that you like and subscribe down below. Um, if you have any comments leave them is there something we can do for you or something you would like to see different let me know uh, we'll also be doing videos of uh, soft plastics jigs spinner baits be doing it all this year so if there's anything else that you'd like to see let me know we'll see if we can bring it to you um, I can't guarantee everything but I want to wish all of you a happy happy new year and a happy 2020 from Lake Rat Tackle